together mode in Microsoft Teams meetings. Now, this is a fantastic way to keep a large audience inside of a Teams meeting engaged and staying almost included in the meeting. Now, this is probably not going to work that well in this demo because it's only me in this meeting, but you'll get a good idea of what it would look like. Now, the idea of the together mode is that, say, for example, you've got 10 or more people inside of a meeting. Actually, in fact, the more people you've got, the better it works. It will put everybody into kind of rows of seats. So rather than being kind of grids on a screen, um, you actually get to see every individual person in the kind of um, the, the, the meeting sat in some sort of seat, like it's a stadium or something like that. Now, it's really easy to enable. All you need to do is click on the view button across the top and then click on together mode. That will then give you um, a kind of the, the initial default kind of options of what you can choose um, to, to make it look like. So we can either use a, um, a the, the sort of white seats, the, the dark seats, um, almost like an amphitheater type of look, a conference room. And actually each one of these templates is giving you suggestions of what the kind of the, the maximum that it would support or the kind of the, the ballpark of what's going to look good um, for this particular um, sort of space. So there's all sorts of different type of options in here. Um, you can use it, as I say, if you just wanted a small meeting. So say for example, I want to select a conference room and that's then gonna put me in here. But as I say, it's not gonna work very well because I'm, I'm, I'm here on my own. You have to have at least two or three different people to actually really see how this feature works um, or, or again, um, I could choose um, to change the scene and actually put um, myself into a much bigger kind of space. So you can see now I'm side of a seat. You can imagine other people uh, sat next to me. And actually, the more people that you add, the camera will zoom out and out and out to make sure you can see everybody. And it's just a fantastic way, especially if you're doing things like... Um, town hall type meetings, which is a bit of an Americanism, but basically it's a big kind of like conference. You've got 40, 50 people of a team, a department, and you're going to be giving some announcements and things like that. It's a fantastic way to, for everyone to feel like they're almost together, even when they're kind of working from home. You can then see people's reactions in live time, all in one place, rather than with a normal Teams meeting where actually you, you, you've kind of got everybody in different grids and you can't always see everybody. If you've got 40 people in a Teams meeting, you'd have to use the scroll button inside of a normal Teams meeting to see everybody's face. So if you've got a large kind of announcement or something like that, um, and you want to see everyone's reaction to it, being in together mode means that you'll actually be able to see everybody's face um, at the same time, so you can gauge that kind of reaction to what it is that you've just announced. As I say, there's plenty of options in here um, to change the scenes so you can have it smaller, medium or large. You can also choose to assign seats. Um, and again, this is not going to work very well because it's just me in here. But you can see, actually, you can select somebody. And actually, if, say, for example, you wanted to have certain people um, almost front and center, you can choose um, to actually allocate that person to that particular space. Um, and then you can assign them. And then basically you've changed the, the, the scene for everybody, move the person into that particular space, and you've then created a kind of seating structure. Now, to be totally honest with you, I've not really seen this being used um, a, a lot because it doesn't really matter, to be honest, unless you've got some real kind of, I don't know, way that you want to group people together, it's not going to make much difference. It's not like they can kind of whisper to the person sat next to them or something like that. Um, but some people, I've seen it used more for kind of like promotional kind of stuff, as in like when people are promoting this feature to why people should be using this feature inside of Teams. Um, and then they've put sort of like all of their... Um, sort of sales people on one side of the room or the marketing people on the other side of the room or something like that, just to kind of give it that kind of feel of, and people recognize that those different teams are kind of sat together. I don't really see a massive benefit, to be honest, to it myself, but just to let you know that feature is there.